Welcome back to Chris Eat Stuff. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a while. Um, I'm so glad to be back at it. I haven't been out in the car for a while getting over and getting fast food and reviewing it. Um, I'm hungry actually. I just had my oldest son help me move a couple of huge mirrors. I worked up an appetite. Ooh, I need something good to eat. I really wish uh, McDonald's had something new on their menu. Wait a sec, they do. They have the new McCrispy. I want to try it out. There's actually the McCrispy and then there's, um, let's take a look at a picture of it here. There's a McCrispy and then there's the McCrispy Bacon Deluxe. I decided that uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to have the best of both worlds. I'm going to try the McCrispy um, on its own by just pushing the tomato and the bacon back a little bit because I'm buying the Bacon Deluxe. I want to have the full to full, full taste. Um, but again, the first bite I'm just going to do without the bacon and tomato. We're going to we're gonna check it out. We're going to see how it is. And the biggest question of all, other than if it's delicious and all the rest of it, is, is it crispy? Let's find out. I would love to try one of those new McCrispy Bacon Deluxes, please. For sure. Would you like it as a meal? Uh, no, that's everything. Just the sandwich. Just the sandwich. All righty. 807. Just run to your first window. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. 807. Awesome. Have a good one. You as well. There you are. Awesome. Thanks so much. Have a good one. You too. Okay. We got it. Let's go find a place to sit down and try it out. All right, we got it. Let's get into the bag and let's check it out. The new permanent menu item, the McCrispy. And this is the Bacon Deluxe version. Let's see what's in the bag. Dun, 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 dun. Woo! Let's do this. Let's get in, let's get in. Without further ado, let's get in here. Ooh, look at that. Nice, nice bun action on the top already. Can you take a look at that? You know what? Let's get it out of here. We're gonna set it on down right, oh, look at that thing. Woo, yeah. Let's set that over here. Oh, it's, it's a messy one. Mmm, mmm. That's the regular mayo kind of dressing, I think, right there. All right, you know what? Let's just take a close look at this and get right in close. Let's do this. Woo. All right. First of all, let's do a side-by-side -side right here. And does this look anything like the picture? Let's see. Hmm. You be a you be the judge of your, for yourself here, and you let me know in the comments. Does it look like the picture? Hmm. All right. Let's let's get right in here. Let's take a look. So what do we got? We got a nice soft bun. Ooh, that potato bun feeling a little little soft, a little. Ooh, it's fighting back here. It's got a little bit of firmness to it as well. I can't wait to try that. Okay, so let's lift it up here and see. What do we got? Some of that mayo. Little tiniest bit of, of lettuce. And we've got our tomato. A couple little thin pieces of bacon. And, okay, well, here's that chicken. Let's just set that down for a second here. And let's see that chicken. Is that a serious piece of chicken? Nah, you know, that's a little bit more serious than what I'm used to seeing at McDonald's. It's got a bit of weight to it as well. And then the bottom bun, nothing on there at all. Oh, a little bit of sauce there. And that's it. Let's put it back together. Pop the top back on. And let's give it a try. All right, let's get right into it. I'm going to give it the smell test first. Let's give it the good old smell test. Mmm, smells yummy. But is it? Okay, I got to make sure I get some bacon off to the side there. Uh, and the tomato. I want a bite of just the regular McCrispy first. So, so of course, I just need some of that mayo in there. The, the stingy little bits of lettuce that they put in there, uh, right there. Let's have a bite and see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Well, right off the bat, the piece of chicken 
is a lot bigger than in the McChicken or the Junior Chicken. Okay? It's thicker. Is it crispy though? Okay, McDonald's, you've named it the McCrispy. Is it crispy? You can probably hear that. Can you hear that? There's a little bit of crisp. It's definitely not the McCrunchy. I'll tell you that right now. It's a little bit crispy. I'll, I'll give you that, McDonald's. Let's try it again. Mm, I'd say it's more spongy than it is crispy. It is like they're... If you take a good look at that... It's similar to the other chicken they have. I wouldn't say it's much different. Like the Chicken McNuggets um, and the McChicken. It's just, it is a bigger piece of chicken. There's got to be a lot more protein in here. Now I want to have a bite of with the bacon and tomato in there. Let's slide that on over there. There. That looks like a good bite right there. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good. And that bite right there. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's still kind of hot in the middle. It is fairly juicy. Not bad. That potato bun's good. I like it. No big complaints there at all with the bun. Um, they could have put more mayo in there. There's not there's not quite enough mayo. I don't know why the McDonald's has chosen not to put pickles in there, though, because typically the traditional chicken sandwiches have those three um, pickles sitting underneath uh, the chicken. But this doesn't have it. Um, the bacon and the tomato, it shouldn't need bacon and tomato. If it's a, if it's a, a regular, a permanent uh, menu item, then it should stand on its own two legs, in a matter of speaking. They, it shouldn't need crutches like a, a tomato or bacon crutches in order to be able to stand. It should stand on its own. The flavor on its own was pretty good. Um, the, the adding the bacon and the tomato is not all that much extra flavor to be honest like the bacon's so thin the tomato is is really it's just one little tiny piece of tomato so on its own yeah it's good enough uh, with the extras on there the deluxe bacon deluxe it makes it even a little better it's not knocking my socks off though and for a regular menu item would i buy it again well let's have another bite and then i'll give it a score out of 10 and i'll let you know Mm. Mm. I mean, it is enjoyable. Mm. Well, I figured out where lots of the mayo was and some of the lettuce in the container. Seriously, I gotta get in there. Let's let's get in there. Can we can we get a look at that? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna make a big mess. And they didn't even give me any napkins. There we go. Now. We'll put that on the sandwich right there. I gotta have one more bite. Mm. It is a pretty good chunk of chicken. Mm. But what would I score it out of 10? Hmm. All right, you know what? I'm ready to give it a score out of 10. I've been processing this, I've been thinking, I've been letting the taste buds connect to my brain cells, and this is getting a solid 7 out of 10. But honestly, I can't give it any higher because when you are comparing to places like Popeyes and, and many others that have some like KFC and that have some great chicken sandwiches, this doesn't add up. But for a, for a solid permanent menu item yeah i'd recommend go try it out it is good um but it's not amazingly great it'll fill that gap you probably your stomach probably won't growl for at least 45 minutes after you eat it and go check it out get one for yourself anyways thank you so much again for joining me it's so it's so wonderful to be back and if you enjoyed the video smash the thumbs up subscribe comment share it with all your friends and family and until next time peace I put way too much in my mouth again. Whoops.